Good morning. Yeah. Any questions like uh, we saw last session, we have posted a few documents and we saw some reports just to display posted document with the transaction code FB03. So today we will see few reports. Okay. So how to view, how what are the changes we can do in the doc, posted document and how to view what are the changes we have done. If somebody has changed something, how to view their, view their IDs. Okay. And few ledger reports. Is that clear? Any questions on a display posted document in FB03? Yes, no. No, sir. Okay. So put a heading as in change. Before that, display posted documents. Just put a heading as in posted documents reports. Okay. Put a heading as in posted documents reports. Okay. Next one, write down. Change posted documents. Okay. So can we do all the changes in the posted document? No, we can't change all the change. We can't do all the changes. What are the changes we can do? I'll just write it down. In the posted document, what are the things we can do it in the sense? See, if something went wrong, like other ERP, not ERP, exactly tally if you take. If any voucher entry is entered incorrectly, then what we can do is, what we can do is, we can delete that particular voucher and we can, okay, delete uh, that voucher from the database completely. Okay, and what we can do, we can uh, create new voucher. But in SAP, we don't have that facility to delete a voucher. Delete a document, not voucher, delete a document. So what are the, we can do few options, few fields we can change. Okay. And some options, we can't change it. If whatever options we can change it, we can change it. But whatever options we can't change it, then for that to rectify that, we need to do reverse the document. Means your incorrect document will be there in the database and correction doc, uh, reverse correction document will also be there in your database. Okay, when auditor checks the entries, then he can find both the entries. What was the issue with this particular document and corrected document? Clear? But when it is other like any tally or Hercule or any focus, wings, accounting softwares, we don't have that option. Just we can delete that voucher. Fine. Yes, sir. So what are the changes we can do? So in SAP in the sense, change document so we can change a few things only okay one second Okay. What are the changes we can do in the sense? Change document in header data. There are, you know that every document we have two things. One is header data and line item data, right? In header data. In header data, what are the things we can do is one is reference number, and next one we can change document header text. Document header text only these two fields we can change it when it comes to line item data line item data we can change we can change value date we can change assignment and text okay 
just write it down this. So interview point of view also, sometimes they may ask if you are going for AP config, sorry, a GL configuration consultant, sometimes they will give AP, GL and AR only, right? They require only the configure consultant required only for to do configuration for GL, AP and AR. Then probably these kind of questions they may ask you. What are the fields we can change in the posted document? Just write it down thus. Only these fields, we can change it. Value date, assignment, and text in line item data, reference number, document header text, and okay, only those two things we can change in document, change document in header data and as well as line item data. Once you're done, let me know. Once you're done, let me know. Done, sir. So write down the path. Change posted document or change document. Change posted documents. Write down the path. SAP menu. This is again end user activity. SAP menu. Accounting. Financial accounting. SAP menu. Accounting. Financial accounting. General ledger document next change transaction code fb02 transaction code fb02 i'll repeat once again here sap menu sap menu okay accounting financial accounting financial accounting Accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, general ledger, document entry. This is for document entry part, but we are want to change this, right? So we need to click on document. We are not document entry, document. So you can see these reports. Okay. General ledger, document and change. FB02. FB02. Okay, so click on FB02. Double click on FB02. So I'll change document number. I'll take it 1 lakh 2. I'm taking any 1 lakh 2. Company code. What is our company code? BI01. BI0, not UT, right? BI01. Okay, fiscal year 2023. Fiscal year 2023. Right on this. Document number. I know which document number I need to do the changes. Right? So that's the reason we are giving the document number directly. Company code, fiscal year. Okay, press enter, press enter. So here, document entry view, just click on header data. Okay. Okay, document, click on, this is called header data and this is called line item data, right? Click on hat. Okay, click on, next item, click on display document header. Display document header. See. Okay. All you can see here. All the fields, whatever fields are there, this we can't edit it. We can only view it. That is nothing but display mode it is showing. But only these two fields change status. We can do it. Only these two fields we can change. Okay. So if, for example, posting date is wrong or document date is wrong, right? Or any other, whatever fields you are able to see in header data, right? So what are the things we have entered manually here? Document date and posting date we have entered manually. So in this two, if we entered something wrong and we want to rectify it, then we can't change. We can do a reversal only. Clear? 
currency if currency is incorrect then we can't do anything we need to reverse it okay only these two okay understood only these two we can change it only these two field will be so what i'll do so i'll write it as a normal document posting Previously, it was general document. Now I am posting it as a posting. Now what I am doing, I'm, it's a GL02. I'll just post it, post it as a, I'll change it to ND, normal document, ND. Okay, what I've, general document testing, it was there earlier. I have changed it to normal document posting. And I've changed the reference number from GL02 to ND02. Okay, two fields I have changed. Normal document posting and this thing. So as per our, this thing also, what are the things we can change? A reference number and document header text. Okay, write it down. Okay. Okay. Just save it. So now, so you can see here ND02 clear. If you click on here, normal document posting ND02. Okay. Next one, go to. So line item I want to change. Can double click on cash item. So we can value date. Okay, I'm changing it to yesterday's date, 25th. Okay. Assignment also, it's automatically picked assignment as per your date and all. So here I'll make this as in 25. It's automatically picked after posting. We want to give manually, see here. 25 month and 2023 automatically it will take in yy mm dd format okay assignment number so i have changed and i am giving the text also share capital share capital amount share capital amount received so what are the things we have changed here? Value date we have changed. Amount, sorry, assignment we have changed. And share capital amount, text we have changed. But other than this, we can't change anything. If you have given a wrong amount, if you have given a wrong business area, then we need to reverse it. Okay. Okay, the next click on save button. So we have done corrections in header level and this one. So how? Okay, what are the changes are done by end user or some user? How to view them? So write it down. Write it down. Display changes. Display changes. Display changes. Path. Path same as above. Path same as above. Path same as above till document. Path same as above till document. Till document. And select display changes. Display changes and transaction code FB04. FB03 is for only display, FB02 is for change. And what are the changes are done by user that if we want to view, then we need to select FB04. So transaction code FB04. Okay. So click on FB04. 
So this is the document we have done the changes. So right done. Give the company code, document number, and the fiscal year. Give the company code, document number, and the fiscal year. Right on this. Okay, press enter. Every change will be recorded here. Every change, minute to minute. Okay, so if you want to view, this is the, what are the changes we have done? We have change assignment field, document header text, reference number, text, and value date. So if you click on all changes, click on all changes, right on, click on all changes, click on all changes. You can see here, field changed on. Okay, old it is not captured, but okay. So first one, document header text. <laughs> I'm sorry, general document testing. Now new, it is showing it as a normal document posting. Earlier reference number was GL02. Now it is ND02. Earlier in line item level, the text was empty. Okay, it was blank. Now it is mentioned as a share capital amount received, right? And earlier, the date was, value date was 23rd 5, 23 5. Now it is 25, 25th of May. Okay. And assignment field, we have changed accordingly. Earlier it was 23 05 2023. Now we have made it to 25 05 2023. Okay. And okay. If you double click on one, so here date at what, which date you have changed it, time at what time we have changed it and who is the user changed and what is the field we have changed and the table where it's going to be affected and from what is the old and what is the new. So every change we can capture. So we can't deny that earlier it was reference number was something and we have changed it and we can't say that we haven't changed it because with the user IDs, everything, date and time, everything, it will be captured. So like in other, mostly in other ERPs, so 90% we can deny there is a chance. But in SAP, we can't minute to minute things. If you touch and save it, then automatically everything will be captured. Clear? Any questions here? Okay, so you know that header data, what is a VKPF table? So remember the tables also, it's very important. Okay, line item table. What is the line item tables? What are the line item tables? VKPF is for header data and line item tables. What are the line item tables we have? Don't forget this again. I'm requesting you be sick. For example, if you double click on this, you can see these from here. It's a line item data. Correct. So double click on this. See here. See somebody, if you are viewing like this, somebody has given you. So just let me know whether is it an header data or okay. Here it is mentioned it as a document header text. Okay, I'll find it. But here, how can we say that it's a line item data or a header data? So by double click on this, you can see which tables are getting affected. Here, if you say that BKPF table, BKPF is nothing but header data. Okay. Next, if you click on here, value date, it's a line item data or share capital amount. So you can see here BSEC table. It's very important. So which table is getting affected? Fine. BSE check. Any questions? So please remember the tables also. It's very important. At least a few. Okay, nine. Yeah. Next right done. Next report. Display. Okay. Display. Document in general ledger view. Display document in general ledger view that I have not mentioned. This is a new report. 
Okay, display document in general ledger view. Yeah, it is there actually. Yeah, I have updated ledger view, whatever we call it as a mention it as a display document in GL general ledger view. Means how we will see first if after posting, if you said display, then first it will show entry view, and after that it will we will select general ledger view, GL view. But here directly we can go with this one. We can directly see the ledger view. Okay, you can write it as a display document in general ledger. Okay, write down the transaction code. Path, write down the path. Path same as above. Path same as above. Path same as above. Till document. Okay. Path same as above till document. And from there select. See, display in general ledger view. Display in general ledger view. And transaction code FB03L. Normal FB03, it's for normal document. Entry view and GL view. But here it is L. L represents ledger view. Right, you know that, right? We have a 0L ledger, we have a uh, BX ledger and BF, BY ledger. BX is for IFRS, BI, BY is for US gap reporting. Right? So write down FB03L. FB03L. L. See here, FB03L. Till document, same path. Till document, same path. So in normal, if you want, if you select FB03, you can see here. So here it is not asking for any ledger, any ledger. It is asking only for document number, company code and fiscal year. But when it comes to FB03L, then you can see here, double click on FB03L. It will ask additional field called ledger. Which ledger you want to view the document. Okay. So here I'll give the document number 1 lakh 1 1 lakh 1 okay and here i would like to see the ifrs report that is nothing but bx you remember right the ledger what we have created defined yes no yes sir yeah, I, do, I don't want to see entry view and any other ledgers. I want to directly view IFRS ledger. So IFRS. So that is BX. Give document number, company code, fiscal year, and the ledger. Press enter. See here. The data is updated directly. BX. BX. You can see. So if you want to see the zero ledger, so mention here it has in same FB zero three L. Okay, zero ledger. Whatever data we want, which ledger we want to see, we can view. So it's a zero L. Zero L. Is it zero L only? See here. Directly, we can go to the zero. There is no entry view. Directly zero L view. Right? If you see in FB03, in FB03, same document. See here. There is no zero L ledger. First, it is showing entry view. Means this is called entry view. See here, you can see. Profit center not updated, debit to credit, and segment is not updated from credit to debit. But here you can see directly 0L ledger, 0L ledger, and you can view all business area updated from credit to debit, profit center updated from credit to debit, and your segment is updated from credit to debit. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? 
Yeah. Next slide. Huh? One more report. Display GL balances. Display GL balances. Display GL balances. Display GL balances. Path SAP men uh, sorry path same as above till general ledger. Path same as above till general ledger. And from there select account. From there select account. From there select account. And this is new report. What I'm showing. Display balances within the bracket. Write down new. And transaction code FAGLB03. 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 So here, instead of document, so here we can view account. So different reports here, different, different reports. Okay, you can see here, FAGLB03, it's a new. I'll show you the old one also after this. Okay. So path, same as above, tell like SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, account, display or change, sorry, display balances, GL balances, new, that is transaction code, FAGLB03. Okay. So what is a new T code in the sense? This is nothing but FS10N. FS10N, it is replaced and still it is, we are using FS10N and as well as FS, FAGLB03. If I open this FAGLB03, you can see here. And what is FS10N? What is the difference with FS10N? This is an old transaction code. See here, same thing you are able to. Same view, you can able to view. Okay. FS10N is the old T code. And FAGLB03 is a new. Okay. And whenever we are in FS 10 and then see here, new general ledger is implemented to use the transaction FA JLB 03. Why they have changed? Sorry? Why they have changed? I'll show you that. What is the difference? Okay, first we'll see in FA, FA JLB 03. Okay, 2,40,000. Any ledger account? Any ledger account you can give. Next one, 2,40,000. BI01. By default, it will take zero ledger. Okay, local gap ledger. So I want to view the balance of uh, GL of cash account and company code. So as per local gap, what is my cash balance? I want to view. Okay, just write it down. Give the GL account number. Company code, fiscal year, and zero L. Okay. Okay. So you can see here. Okay. We can view cumulative frequency. So we have posted few entries in previous fiscal year also. So that is we can see in 2022 2022 so you can see here few posted few entries we have posted in 13th period you remember 15th period we have posted few entries remember posting in special periods yes sir yeah so here cash debit 64000 that is nothing but share capital account so we have selected line item display so it will take you to the 
if you have to double click on each and everything, then it will take you to the origin of the entry, right? Like this. So cash account, six lakhs twenty sixty four thousand. You can see this. So next, if I press back button, okay, this is posted in special periods. Okay. So 38,000 is the balance. Okay. 64 minus 26, 38,000. Same balance will be carried forward to 2023. Okay. You can see 38,000. So here, whatever closing balance was there, Sorry, wrongly happened. 2020. See here. The previous month balance 38,000, 38,000. Okay. And current month, it is inclusive of current month 16,7040. Right. And this is my debit cash. What is the rule of cash account? What is the rule of cash account? What is the rule? Accounting rule of cash account? Quick, quick, yes or no? When you prepare a cash book manually, right? What is the rule you have applied in your cash book? Three column cash book, two column cash book, or simple cash book, or single column cash book, whatever you call. So what is the rule we apply? Debit equal to credit. That is accounting rule, not cash account, not specific to cash account, right? That is applicable for all accounting, debit equal to credit. But I'm asking, what is the cash account rule? What is the cash account rule? What is the rule of a cash account? Which accounting rule it will applicable? What, what do you mean by credit 60,000? What do you understand by this credit 60,000? And what do you understand by debit 60,740? Sorry, 160,740. What do you understand by this? Yes. Yeah, try to analyze what does it mean. What is the need? This report, what do you understand by this report? So here it is clearly showing balance carry forward of last year of 38,000. Perfect. I don't have any issues. 15 lakhs 85,040 plus 38,000, it becomes 16 lakhs 7,040. Okay. But what do you understand by this debit and credits? As you said, debit equals to credit, right? But is it here equal? Both are equal. No. See what is the rule in the sense, don't forget this. Cash account, whenever we receive cash, then we will enter on the debit side. All receipts, all cash receipts will be entered on the debit side and all the cash payments will be entered on the credit side. Means what does it mean? If in cash account, this is a cash account, cash ledger account, under that debit side, it is showing balance in the sense it is nothing but your receipts. Means business has received this much cash. And how much business has paid cash in cash? How much business has paid? 60,000. 60,000 means all the payments will be shown on the credit side. All the, in cash account, all the receipts will be shown on the debit side and all the payments will be shown on the credit side. That is a rule of cash account. All receipts will be, all receipts in the sense, all the cash receipts will be entered on the debit side and all the cash payments will be entered on the credit side of cash book or cash account. What is the rule of bank account? The same rule applicable for bank. So all the check receipts will be entered on the debit side and all the check payments will be entered on the credit side. So now what do you understand debit in the sense here? What, what is this amount? 
what is this amount received amount received amount who has received this company or business whatever you call right company has paid salary is paid right whatever payments we have done that will be shown here is this clear so here cumulative right the balance now the closing balance as of now as on today okay the 15 lakhs 47040 okay so if you double click on account so here for example if i say 1,55,000. This is the report. See, this is the report. 15,48. So next, if I go back, see here. Okay. Next one, document current. This, so what are the currencies we have phones in? Okay. So here you see, we have posted Euro currency, INR currency, and Singapore dollar. I want to view only Euro currency entries. So double click on Euro currency. Then you can see. Okay, if I want to give, if you want to see only INR postings, then you can see INR postings. If you want see Singapore dollar currency. Okay. But if you want all currencies, then you need to select star. So it will show you all. See, right? What are the currencies we saw? What are the currencies it is showing? Euro, INA, SG. Correct. Remember, right? Now I'll show you one more account, one more GL account. We'll see. I'll take share capital account. Okay, share capital account, click on display. So you understood now what share capital is a liability. So always liabilities will show credit balance. So that's the reason it is showing a credit balance. Okay, but here if I click on currency, document currency, why it is showing only an INR? Why it is showing an INR? Why it is showing only in INR? Why? Why it is showing only in INR? Why other currencies are not displaying here? Yes. Quick. Any thought, your thoughts? Why it is showing only INR? Why the cash account shown in three different currencies and why share capital account is showing only one currency. Yeah, replies, please. I think we have posted only in INR currency. See here, we have posted in US. Sorry, uh, I'll show in currencies also. It's local currency. Document currency also I'll select. Or what I did, I'll just search here. Oh, 
amount in local currency already there. So just I would like to see the amount in document currency. Amount in, we need it in document currency, right? Amount in. This is where I would like to post here. After this, amount in document currency. And next one, currency, we want, right? And then local currency, set. We'll see once with this. So still currency is not added yet. Local currency, talk currency we will see. One in local currency. One second. Yeah, document can be seen. Local currency. Uh, what I did. This I want to show one thing. Wanted document currency. Okay. See here, we have posted, this is document currency. We have posted in INR, we have posted in SGD. This is SGD amount. Okay, uh, just 
okay this is sgd this is inr and this is sgd so why it is showing only in inr in the report got my point yes sir okay we have posted two different currencies but when i saw here it is showing document currency as an only one indian rupee what is the reason behind this why it is not showing in sgd Yes. Sorry. See, when we created real account, don't forget this again. The first double zero I said, right? If you take VI01, right? We have selected in control data tab, we need a reports only in balances in local okay. currency. Okay. Correct? When it comes to cash account, 2 lakhs 40. Okay, when we press enter, we have not selected only in local currency. You remember that? Means whatever currencies we posted, that will be displayed. But other than cash and bank accounts, all other accounts, we will select account in local currency, only balance in local currency. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so this is one reason. Okay. So any questions here till now? Okay. So this is as per the local gap. So, okay. Press back button. So here it is a local gap, right? But I want view in other ledgers. So choose ledger. So give your BX ledger. So you can view your reports in BX ledger. Now you can see BX. That is in IFRS report. See here. This is your IFRS report. Fine? Yes, sir. Okay. If you want to view, so here you can see 13,78,092. Now, if I choose, remember this amount. So, choose zero ledger. Thirteen seventy eight, thirteen seventy eight, thirteen seventy eight, and BX okay, if I view again in BY ledger. See here. In Z BX ledger, it is showing thirteenth So few entries we have posted only with IFRS ledger. You remember zero ledger. Okay, if you view one more view. Y ledger also, sorry, BY ledger also. You can see 13th period and 15th period it is showing here. Why BY ledger? What is the which year it will follow? BY in the sense IFRS one. So which which period it will take? BY or BX you are saying? It's a BY, right? January to December. Jan to December. So that's the reason you can see special period is showing. Understood? Yes. So total also it got changed. Right? Your local gap reporting and IFRS was showing same thing. But here it is showing completely different in BY ledger. Right? It is showing 19,42,920. 
Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. So next one we will see. Display or change line item view in next session, Monday session. Till here, any questions? No, no. Okay, thanks. I'll update the timings for Monday on Sundays. I'll text her in the group. Sunday. Sunday, I'll update the okay. timings of Monday. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have you asked with Danish? No, no, that's what I said. I didn't get the time yesterday to connect with him. I'll connect with him in these two days. Okay. And I'll update you in Sunday by evening in the group. What is the timing for Monday? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.